Fans Beyond Wrestling, this is Denver, Colorado, the man, not the place. And before we get into the action, let's hear from the throwbacks, Mr. Touchdown and Dasher Hatfield. Hello, 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 Beyond Wrestling. In case you missed it, last night, my good buddy and step cousin in law, Mr. Touchdown, picked up this little fella and threw him straight through the roof. And tonight, oh boy, tonight, we got us the Washington Bullets. Dasher, what are you doing? I'm talking about our match. No, you don't talk about the Washington Bullets. You're talking about Mr. Touchdown. I did. Mr. Touchdown's been introduced to Beyond Wrestling because of Mark Angel. Mark Angel, you're the number one ranked wrestler in Beyond Wrestling, and I aspire to be like you, but I'm going to be different because I'm Mr. Touchdown. So, Mark Angel, I'm going to be the longest reigning undefeated wrestler. Dasher, listen to me. The longest reigning undefeated wrestler here at Beyond Wrestling, and I'm going to surpass you pal. What about me? We're a team. No! I get points. Nerd. Alright, let me get this straight. Mr. Touchdown was introduced to Beyond Wrestling by the current number one ranked wrestler, Mark Angel. And while the two bear a very striking resemblance, Mr. Touchdown says that he's going to be different than Mark Angel because he's going to have an even longer undefeated streak. Well, that remains to be seen. I mean, Mr. Touchdown did throw Anthony Stone through the ceiling at the Burst the Bubble live event last night. But he cannot overlook the Washington Bullets, who were very impressive in their debut against the Hate Junkies. I mean, you want to talk about passion. These guys did a show the night before in Georgia, got in a car, drove 20 hours. The moment they got out, it was time to compete for Beyond Wrestling. And now here they are at the Burst the Bubble studio taping, looking to compete against the throwbacks. Dasher Hatfield and Mr. Touchdown. Well, Dasher Hatfield looks like he's going to be starting off the contest because Mr. Touchdown has gone to the floor to retrieve his football. Of course, the Washington Bullets, John and Trey Williams. Here you see Trey in the bikers, John with the longer trunks. If you fans are unfamiliar with the Washington Bullets, I can say this, they are a very exciting tag team who like to utilize tandem offense. We'll see if they'll have the opportunity to put together some of these combinations against Dasher Hatfield and Mr. Touchdown, or if the throwbacks will be effective once again, knocking off their opponents. Again, Mark Angela Setti, Mr. Touchdown, and Dasher Hatfield successful in defeating Anthony Stone and his tag team partner, Kellen Thomas last night at the Burst the Bubble live event. And Mark Angel, somebody who's had a number of run-ins with Anthony Stone in the past, introducing Mr. Touchdown to be on wrestling to take care of him. Very suspect. Datcher Hatfield looking to tie up once again with Trey Williams. This time Trey was out of the way. Able to apply that side headlock. Datcher Hatfield looking for an escape. Dasher Hatfield able to transition into that hammer lock, applying pressure onto the shoulder of Trey Williams before transitioning to that side headlock of his own. This is the first time that these two teams have ever met in a ring. So you can't be surprised that there's going to be a somewhat conservative feeling out process from the start. As Trey and Dasher trade arm drags and now hip tosses. Trey sweeping out the legs from underneath Dasher, going right to that lateral press. Dasher Hatfield doing the same, got that leg hooked. And Trey Williams at it too. Trey rushing in this time, able to avoid contact, got the schoolboy. Only good for a two count again. Now Dasher Hatfield taking a play out of Trey Williams' playbook. Both of these men back up to their feet. Dasher missing wildly with that punch. Trey Williams going for that O'Connor roll. He's got his opponent stacked up. Dasher Hatfield, oh, just at the nick of time. Boy, was that close. Now Dasher Hatfield looking to nail an O'Connor roll of his own. These guys going tit for tat, move for move. And now Dasher Hatfield able to take Trey Williams back down to the mat with that side headlock takeover. The throwback's firmly in control in the earlier moments of this bout. There you hear Mr. Touchdown saying that he wants to get tagged in. Dasher Hatfield, I mean, so far he's been effective in grounding Trey Williams. Again, the Bullets like to... Oh, wait a minute! Mr. Touchdown tagging himself in. Well, John Williams tagging himself in too. Mr. Touchdown getting caught up. 
Williams rolling up the back of Mr. Touchdown and hold him in position and Trey nailed him with the drop kick. Well, Mr. Touchdown tagging himself in said that he wanted to be the star of the contest. He thought that he could do a more effective job disabling the Washington Bullets than his partner Dasher Hatfield. But that remains to be seen. Able to move out of the way of that knee strike but got caught there with the kick and now the super kick. And Trey Williams again going for that pin. I've got to say, I mean, so far from what I've seen from Mr. Touchdown in this contest, I can't say that I'm all too impressed. And now what is he doing right here? Go to the eyes of his opponent. Just raking away at his face. And now tagging out to Dasher Hatfield, who was in control before Mr. Touchdown tagged himself in. I'm sorry, I didn't teach him that move. Dasher Hatfield and Mr. Touchdown are not on the same page. The two exchanging words, Dasher Hatfield upset that Mr. Touchdown went to the ice to take advantage of the match. And Mr. Touchdown now tagging himself in. This guy's irate. He's lost his mind. Just unloading on Trey Williams. Now this guy is not only similar in appearance to Mark Angel, but he's very cocky as well. Touchdown now, lifting up his opponent just to drive it back down to the mat with great force. Now coming off the ropes and nailing him with that knee drop. Just gesticulating around the ring, so proud. The fact that he was able to drop that knee on his opponent. And now Dasher Hatfield looking to get tagged in. I mean, tag team strategy 101. When you have your opponent down on the mat, you tag your partner in so that you and your partner can stay fresh while you attack your opponent. I mean, it's not rocket science. It's, it's a tried and true method. But it looks like Mr. Touchdown feels that he can take on both members of the Washington Bullets on his own. Oh, Mr. Touchdown taking too much time arguing with Thatcher Hatfield. Almost getting pinned there by Trey Williams with that schoolboy attempt. And look at the impact of that football tackle from Mr. Touchdown. Sending Trey Williams up into the lights. And John Williams having to come in to break up the pin. Certainly can take nothing away from his in-ring ability. The amount of power behind that tackle was incredible. And again, Mr. Touchdown saying that he's got it. Well, Mr. Touchdown calling Dasher Hatfield's bluff. He's not going to tag him in. Dasher's threatened to join the other team. Well, I don't know what to make of this turn of events. Well, now Dasher Hatfield joining up with the Washington Bullets. There you hear Mr. Touchdown saying that they're family. Mr. Touchdown has done nothing to endear himself to the other wrestlers here beyond wrestling. And now on top of that, he's got... Three opponents to worry about? Oh, now making that gesture, putting the glasses on the face of Trey Williams before applying this chin lock, saying that nobody likes nerds. We've seen that Mr. Touchdown has had a problem with nerds in his tenure at Chikara. Joining up with the Chikara roster earlier this season has made quite the impact. Getting rave reviews from other wrestlers and fans alike. I mean, again, this guy can get it done in the ring, but issues with his attitude. Well, that series of sin splashes not enough to put away Trey Williams proving to be very resilient. Now what's Mr. Touchdown doing right here? A mocking Dasher Hatfield by tagging himself in. And Mr. Touchdown, his signature catchphrase, telling the other wrestlers on ringside that it's good, but it remains to be seen if it's good. He hasn't won the match yet. Oh, now Mr. Touchdown threatened to put Trey Williams quote unquote in his corner. We've seen Mark Angel in the past use an overhead exploder suplex into that corner. Perhaps Mr. Touchdown is going to be looking to take a play out of the number one ranked wrestler in Beyond Wrestling's playbook. But look at this counter from Trey Williams able to spin Mr. Touchdown around. Center him face first into that turnbuckle. And now Datcher Hatfield's getting tagged in. Is the referee going to allow this? 
Oh, a shot to the midsection and that underhand chop. And now Datcher Hatfield locking on the abdominal stretch. Well, Dasher Hatfield asking if Mr. Touchdown will tag him back in. Mr. Touchdown has agreed. Dasher Hatfield releasing the hold. But Dasher Hatfield cleaning Mr. Touchdown to the walls, getting taken down with a double drop kick for both John and Trey Williams. Now John Williams coming in with that knee and again taking Mr. Touchdown down. Now looking to send him across the rings. Of course, John Williams was on the apron for a number of minutes while Trey Williams getting worked over by Mr. Touchdown. Certainly the freshest man in this contest. Able to connect with that kick to the face. Could this be it? Mr. Touchdown just too strong. Able to kick out. But Trey's looking to get back in. Perhaps we're going to see some of that signature offense from the Washington Bullets as I alluded to earlier in this contest. John Williams holding Mr. Touchdown in position. Look at the elevation on that leg drop to the back of the head. Not only the impact getting driven face first, but again, the leg coming down to the back of the head of Mr. Touchdown. And Dasher Hadfield finally in to make the save for his partner. Well, perhaps Mr. Touchdown has learned his lesson. Dasher Hadfield asking for the legal tag on the apron. And Mr. Touchdown's not even going to the right corner. Well, I mean, Mr. Touchdown, this was a mistake. Well, able to move out of the way, and now I think finally he realizes he has to make the tag, or else he's going to be in danger of losing this contest. I mean, granted, he won last night, but if he wants to have the longest undefeated streak in Beyond Wrestling, he's going to have to win a number of matches here. I don't know, Dasher Hatfield, Mr. Touchdown, high and low. The chop block and the clothesline, but they're not done. Mr. Touchdown again elevating his opponent, Dasher Hatfield coming off the ropes. And a variation of that corkscrew neckbreaker just sent it Trey Williams down to the mat. And John Williams once again coming in to interrupt the pin to make the save. And did you see the impact on that bicycle kick? Mr. Touchdown is down and out. The Washington Bullets have a chance here. Dasher Hatfield sending John into the corner. Charge! Oh, but he telegraphed that. Trey catching him in the midsection, nowhere to go, gets caught with that knee. And Trey looking to keep Dasher in position with that wheelbarrow, the kick to the face. This could be an incredible upset. What's Mr. Touchdown doing with that football? More concerned about getting his football on the outside than breaking up the pin. He's lucky that Dasher Hatfield was able to kick out. But just getting sent face first into that concrete wall on the outside of the ring. And Dasher Hatfield is in trouble. You've got to think one more combination maneuver out of the Washington Bullets, and that's going to be it. Again, holding him in position with that wheelbarrow, but a low bridge for Mr. Touchdown. Dasher's got Trey in position, catches him with that elevated stunner, and way right into the pin. An excellent combination from the throwbacks to end this contest, but boy, I thought the Bullets had it won. A great showing from these guys. But it's Mr. Touchdown and Dasher Hatfield that are going to continue their winning ways. And again, these two still arguing after the contest. Well, finally shaking hands. And Dasher Hatfield trying to walk out of the ring before the referee can even raise their hands. Well, again, the throwbacks winning another match. Dasher Hatfield moving up to plus three in the rankings. And Mr. Touchdown, who only made his debut yesterday in Beyond Wrestling, moving up to plus two. But again, a great effort from the Washington Bullets, even though it's the throwbacks that are victorious here at Burst the Bubble.